everyone. I wanted to do a video today. I feel like I haven't done one in a while. And today I wanted to show you some of my hair and beauty tricks that I use in the winter time. Because right now there's a foot of snow on the ground in Cincinnati. I've actually been in the negatives for almost a week now. And my skin and hair are really suffering. So I thought it would be good since it is the middle of winter. And I know a lot of people in the country are currently having the same type of cold weather. I thought I would share some tricks that I use for my hair and skin this time of year. Now some of these products aren't necessarily just for winter time, but I found that they really do help me, especially this time of year. Um, but these are actually things that you can use all year round and that are good for your hair and skin. So the first thing I used is actually it's something I'm kind of a newbie to and I feel like I'm getting on the bandwagon really late, but I've actually been in love with it since I started using it. And that is the Clarisonic brushes. Um, I actually have the Mia 2, and it's just this tiny little brush. And mine actually has a green and white head. And I, for Christmas, got this, and I wanted the acne clearing head because I just noticed my skin has been breaking out a lot lately. And especially in the winter, my skin gets super dry. And I don't know, I feel like when I take off my makeup, not everything comes off when I wash it. So I use this in the shower actually, and it is amazing. I feel like all my makeup comes off, and then my skin when I get out of the shower is just so smooth. And I am just really happy with how this works. And it actually came with this Clarisonic face wash, and it's called the Acne Daily Clarifying Cleanser. So I actually take this face wash and I put it directly on the brush head and then I turn on the brush head and wash my face. And it's nice because there's actually um, a timer on here and it directs you where to move the Clarisonic on your face. So you're not just holding it in one spot the whole time. It'll kind of vibrate and you move it and it's just really simple. and my skin just feels amazing afterward and I feel like it's really been helping to keep my skin from flaking and staying extra dry especially in this weather. So the next product I use is mainly for my hands. You can use this all over your body. I've never tried it for anywhere but my hands. I really want to. I just have to figure out because it's a little bit greasy especially when you put on as much as I do and I like to slather my hands in this stuff. But it's the Aquaphor um, healing ointment and I have been using this religiously every night when I go to bed and my skin has truly been changed by this stuff it's like a miracle worker I don't know what is so special about it but I love it so what I do with this is I'll slather it on my hands at night as you can see it's just like a petroleum jelly and I will take a big scoop of it at night and just slather my hands in it and then what I'll actually do is put gloves on when my hands are all um, covered in this cream. So I feel like the gloves help me for multiple reasons. One is that this can just get really messy. It feels amazing on your hands but it just gets really greasy and especially if you have a lot of it on you don't really want to touch anything else. When I put this on I can't touch my phone for the rest of the night so the gloves really help because I just feel like they're protecting my hands from touching anything else and getting anything greasy. And also I feel like the gloves help because they trap in all the moisture and they really help the cream just soak into my pores. And I wake up the next morning and my hands are just completely dry. Like I'll go to bed having so many cracks and just I actually have been bleeding lately because my hands are so dry. And I'll wake up the next morning and take off my gloves and my hands are literally completely cured. I don't know what it is and I'm not making this up. It's amazing. I have been so happy with this product and I think I'm going to start using it on other parts of my body. I just have to figure out how to cover those up for when I'm sleeping because I don't want to get my sheets all greasy. But I have been super happy with that product. And I think it's only like $10 and you can get it at any drugstore or even the grocery store. So this has been a miracle worker in the winter time. The next product I'm going to talk about is actually another thing I've been super late to the bandwagon on. 
but since I've been using it for the past few weeks, I've been so happy and I wish I would have started using this years ago. I don't know why I never have, but it is the R&Co Death Valley Dry Shampoo. And my mom actually got me this at her hair salon and I had heard really good things about the Kevin Murphy brand, um, but she went to the hair salon and they recommended this brand and I have been so happy with it. It smells so good. Um, it kind of smells like summer, like it smells kind of coconutty. I don't know, it just smells like a beach. And it has been a miracle worker on my hair. And I know people don't necessarily just use dry shampoo in the winter time, but I have really thick hair and I found that it's just kind of helped kind of breathe some new life in my hair after it's been not washed for a few days. And another thing that I have a huge problem with is that my hair gets super stringy and almost turns into hay when I'm outside in the cold. I'll have my hair completely done up and super nice and then I go outside and it instantly just becomes so stringy and just really tough. So I just spray some of this in, do a little brush, and my hair feels freshly washed and it's amazing. So I'm super happy with this dry shampoo. I know there's a lot of different brands you can get. This was more on the expensive side, but I have been really happy with it, especially because I have really thick hair. So the last product I'm going to talk about is just some lip balms because I'm a huge fan of color on my lips. I feel naked if I don't have a color on my lip when I leave the house. And I know a lot of lip colors this time of year really dry my lips out and they just become so chapped and just almost to the point of bleeding that they're so dry. So what I've been doing lately is actually using a balm stain. And I actually have been liking these a lot more than just traditional lipsticks. They stay on all day and they're super pigmented and your lips don't hurt at the end of the day when you take this off. Like, it is amazing and I am slowly starting to get a collection of these colors. But I've been using the Revlon Color Burst Balm Stains. Um, and right now I only have two colors of, this is like the shinier version of this. There's a matte version too and I have a lot of the matte colors but I don't know the difference of these shinier um, containers but I have been super happy with these. These actually go on my lips like butter and they last all day. The two colors I wear the most on my lips are red and pink so I got a red and pink and these balm stains and the pink color that I've been using is in the shade Whimsical. So the other shade I've been using is just a classic red shade and it is in the shade Enticing. And this is just a traditional red. I love the way this goes on and I've just been really happy with it. And you can get both of these at the drugstore as well and I think they're pretty inexpensive. I want to say they're like 10 to 12 dollars. So that's not too bad for something that will get you through the whole winter. So that is everything for my winter hair and beauty skin products. Um, I know there weren't a lot of things in here today, but those are just some of the things that I like to use and swear by this time of year. So if you guys have any other suggestions of products that you guys use, um, feel free to leave them in a comment below, and I will see you in my next video.